you know, so we have 26 billionaires that hold 50% of the wealth of the world, 26 human beings holding 50% of the wealth of the world. I mean, I, I would love to know a little bit more about what, what the definitions of some of those terms, but we get the idea. We're definitely, we're definitely experiencing the, the effects of this, right? So here's what has been said to me, and I want to say it out loud here, especially. That money, that money could have only come from one place. There's no other place for it to have come from, and that's the earth. Somehow it was extracted from water, earth, air, trees, the bodies of the flying ones, swimming ones, creepy crawling ones, four-legged ones. The, 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 the labor of men, women, children, it, it has been extracted out of the web of life in some way or another. And you can begin to start playing shell games with it and in um, software and such, but, but ultimately it, it leads back to this mother earth and to life itself. So here's what I want us to consider is that is life that is being hoarded. That is life that is being withheld from life. And now life is screaming out for life. And so what has to happen is that life that's being hoarded as wealth is going, that, that has been dammed up, those dams are gonna have to come down. And that life that looks like money is going to have to be re-released back into life. There's no other way for this to go. Now, hopefully what can be of some inspiration here is we are coming to that time that Chief Seattle, I believe it was Chief Seattle talked about where he said one day they're going to find out they cannot eat money. We are so close to that time. We are, and in some places we're there, but we are right there. I'm saying we're five years out for all of that wealth to become irrelevant, useless. But right now it still has a little bit of meaning and can have bearing on the physical world. And so there is this small window of opportunity for those in the wealth to be able to give that life back into life to the places where it is most needed. And so I'm calling for that straight up. That has to happen. And so what that means is, again, those of us who've been pointing at the wealthy and saying, those suckers over there, there's, you know, we have to begin <laughs> to create a, a circumstance for that to be able to happen, to be able to be received, to be able to be met with an eye towards we do this so the people can live. We want to live with all of our relations. So no matter where you find yourself in this human equation on the earth, there's a lot of work that can be done inside and in the heart. And for me, keeping that view and continuing to do that work is a huge release of the trauma stories, huge release. So I'll stop there for the moment. Thanks.